I think like the miners, they like the simplicity of the life and I think they like their privacy. Uh, you can step out in the morning, uh, during in the fall, you can, if you're lucky, you can hear the wild turkeys. You can hear the elk bugling. Beautiful skies, nice people. It's, it's a very peaceful place. It's uh, just got a lot of history it needs to be told before it's gone. What makes Cokedale unique is it's one of the few coal camps that's still pretty much intact. Most of the coal camps, as you drive up Highway 12, you'll see foundations, but you won't see the towns. This is a, the coal that's mined from the New Elk, which is the Allen mine. Coal was king in Southern Colorado. Most coal camps were tent colonies. This was started off in 1899 and it was known as Carbon Coal and Coke in Riley Creek. And it was a tent colony, a 100 man tent colony. And the guys that found it or started it uh, were speculators. And the coal seams back east are fairly shallow, but the coal seams here are extremely thick, four to 10 foot thick. So they hit the mother load. They had 350 coke ovens across the road that you could see and they ran 24 seven. The ovens actually, I've been, when people call, they ask me, they say, are those Roman ruins or was that an aqueduct? And they kind of look like that, but they're a beehive oven and it was loaded, the coal was mined, it was crushed, it, it was washed at the wash plant the debris was floated off. That's where we have the big mound of coal over here. They don't burn the coal, they bake it. So everything that was mined here, was crushed here, was coked here. In 1915, there were 1,500 miners living here. There were 23 separate languages spoken in this town. I think there was a sense of unity uh, of, of the people who worked in the mines. Uh, they got along fairly well. They liked where they were at. They, they liked the country. And it's a nice place to live. I think that's a history that needs to be told. It's amazing. I've tried to get the schools down here. Uh, because most of these kids, it's their grandfathers and great-grandfathers who were in these mines, and they have absolutely no idea what their grandparents went through to live here. They, these were some tough people.